leave a legacy. Thank you for joining PDC Inspirational Moment. What's up, family? I'm excited to be back with you today. This is a, a, a good day for me. Uh, I had a great time in, in private devotion uh, with the Lord, and so I am refreshed and excited to talk with you and share with you on a thought that I had. I've been wrestling with uh, this thought that, um, the question, where are all the Christians? You know what I'm saying? Many people are saying that they're Christians, but uh, but 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 they're hiding their, their, their beliefs or they're hiding uh, their their act, activity or actions at as Christian. And so this episode uh, is not calling anybody out, but I want to encourage you uh, to kind of be be light. And so the episode title today is Be the Reason. Be the Reason. Um, one of the great questions in life um, is what, what do you want to be known for? Uh, all of us want to do something that makes a difference. We want our lives to, to matter. And particularly when you get older, you started thinking about this more, you know, what am I, what am I going to be known for? Uh, when you're young, you think about, Hey, what am I going to, what am I supposed to be doing? But when you get older, you want to know, what am I going to be, uh, uh, known for? And, 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 and as you get older, chasing all of the, the superficial stuff, uh, you, 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 you get to the place where you've been there, done that. And it, it, it was not fulfilling. You've, you've gotten over it. Uh, but, but, but you, you, after you start, after you get tired of chasing all the superficial stuff and start witnessing the people you love die, you start witnessing people check out and you start to wonder about your legacy. Um, you know, you start wondering what, you know, what, what, what am I going to be known for? What's going to be my legacy? And, and here's what, here's what I've learned about legacy. Um, uh, legacy is not ever in, in accomplishments. It's, it's not, legacy is not in, in your platform. It's not in the titles that you have. It's not in what you were able to achieve. Legacy is always in people. The, the reality is, you will be remembered by the person that you touched their lives in such a way that they continue to tell the stories about who you are and who you were during the time that you lived. And so, you know, accomplishments are fine. Possessions are great. Fame is good. Platforms are good. Achievements are awesome. But, but, but they, won't, they won't be remembered once your time enough. So what if the best thing what is the best thing that you can be known for is how you have impacted someone else's life. There's, there's a passage in, in the Bible where Jesus is teaching. It's called the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 5. He says this. He says, let your light so shine before men. This breaks this destroys the notion that I can be a Christian and mind my own business. I can be a Christian and not let anybody know. I, I can I can pray in secret and and, and 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 read my Bible in secret. Yeah, you can do those things, and there's times where that's appropriate. But Jesus commands us to to be light and let that light shine before men. Show people what God has done in your life. Testify about the goodness of God. Show people how great you love God. And it says, let your life so shine before men that, that, that they may see your good works and glorify your father, which is in, in heaven. I love that part of the passages because, you know, <laughs> I call this the throwback syndrome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people, people, there are some people who know who you were. They know the man that you was. They know the, the woman that you, you was back in the day. And, and when they see you now, now that you're in Christ, now that you're a believer, now that God has come and transformed your life. Oh, it's amazing. It's, a, it's, the, it's the most powerful testimony because the, the person you were, you're not that anymore. And that in and of itself is light enough for someone to say, man, if God can change that brother, man, I want some of that. 
And so I'm challenging you today that we want to be the reason for many things. We want to be the reasons why our kids finish college because we encourage them. We want to be the reason why some kid got to the next level because you inspired them inspirationally. We want to be the reason why uh, someone accomplished their goal or dream. And all those things are great, but those things are temporary. Why not be the reason why somebody comes to know and love Jesus? What if you were known for being the one that led somebody to Christ and because they heard about a man that changed your life and turned your life upside down, you were walking down a dark path and you were messing up and making mistakes and God took you even in the midst of your mistakes and turned your life around. And that's the man and the woman that you are today in Christ with total peace, total joy, even in the midst of a broken, dark, crazy world because of Christ, all because of what Christ has done in your life. Why not be the reason that your children get baptized and come to know Jesus? Why not be the reason that your son and daughter commit to vocational ministry in Christ? Why not be the reason, you be the reason why your son, your daughter, your husband, your wife, your cousin, nephew, niece, read their Bible and start praying to your God. Why not be the reason for that? Folks, it's time for the church to rise up, come out of the closet. Everybody's coming out of the closet. The church needs to come out of the closet and we need to be the reason why the world changes and the why the world gets better. That's why God left us here. That's what Jesus is telling us in Matthew 5, 16. Amen. Uh, light is the absence of darkness and God has, has come into our life and he has brought life through the power of the Spirit of Christ working in us. And when we come into a room, we change that room. We're environment changers. And so I challenge you today, every day, wake up and say, God, help me to be the reason why somebody sees you and glorifies your name. In fact, help me to be the reason why somebody falls in love with you, come to know you, believe on you for salvation. Help me to be the reason. And so that's our podcast today. Why don't you be the reason this week? Why don't you be the reason today in your home, in your workplace, everywhere you go? Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works, that light, that reflection of Christ in you and glorify your father in heaven. Thank you for checking in. Let me pray for you today. God, we thank you because our focus and our attention is on so many things. And God, everybody's coming out of the closet and it seems like the church is hiding the light. And you told us we don't, we aren't to hide our light. God, I pray that you give somebody the courage to be the reason that someone has victory in Jesus today. Some Help us to be the reason that someone starts praying today. Help us to be the reason that someone that starts putting their trust in you today. Help us to be the reason that someone gets to know you and believe on you for salvation. Help me, God, to be the reason that someone is inspired to, to come to know you and trust in you and love you just like I do. God, we thank you. We know that we can do this by the power of your spirit at work in us. We love you. Empower us today. Give us this day and help us to be the reason why someone comes and strengthens and comes to faith in you. We love you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for logging on. Remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. Make it a great day. God bless you.